Josh Duggar is claiming photos taken behind bars of his hands and feet are illegal and should be deleted from his child pornography case. Josh, 33, was arrested and charged with possessing and receiving child pornography in April. The Sun can exclusively reveal Josh's legal team filed a motion to suppress photographs law enforcement took of Duggar's hands and feet while requiring him to pose for the photographs in custody. Josh's attorneys claimed authorities did not have a warrant which authorized the taking of the photographs and that they were taken without his lawyer present. The court filing provided the three images taken while Josh was in custody on April 29, 2021. In the photos, Josh has his hands stretched out over his feet, as the pictures are taken from an angle above him. The court papers argued that law enforcement must obtain a warrant which permits photographing a defendant's body parts, other than a simple booking photograph, and to permit requiring a defendant to pose in a particular manner for these types of photographs. They call it egregious that Josh's body parts were manipulated, and he was required to pose for the photographs. Josh's team calls the photographs an intrusion on his personal rights and ask they be removed from evidence. In another filing, Josh's team claimed federal agents physically stopped him from communicating with his attorney after he asked to speak with his lawyer. They requested to suppress any statements made by Josh during this period. The court papers read, Duggar expressly asserted his constitutional right to consult with his attorney, attempted to exercise that right, and law enforcement stunningly reacted by physically preventing him from exercising that right. Demand for dismissal. As The Sun previously reported, Josh's legal team also filed court documents to have the case dismissed on Friday. Attorneys for the disgraced 19 kids and Counting Star filed a motion to dismiss the case because the government allegedly failed to preserve potentially exculpatory evidence, which is evidence favorable to a defendant that could exonerate him of the crime. The court papers claim certain people had access to Josh's used car lot wholesale motorcars wireless internet. Though law enforcement searched the witnesses' devices, they allegedly failed to preserve any evidence obtained during these searches. The first witness interviewed on December 16, 2019 is described as a person of interest. The court papers read, witness number one admitted to investigators he worked at the car lot at various times and that, on several occasions, he even stayed at the car lot overnight without Duggar's knowledge or permission. Witness number one admitted to viewing adult pornography through websites he accessed through the internet on his cellular phone and, when asked by these federal agents, denied viewing child pornography. The witness cell phone was searched and no child pornography was found. Authorities preserved no evidence whatsoever from the search of witness hashtag 1s phone including its contents and metadata, according to court papers. The court docs then mentioned two more witnesses whose devices were examined. Neither had criminal activity, and HSI preserved no evidence whatsoever from the search of witness hashtag 3s phone including its contents and metadata. The court papers continued, where the evidence the government failed to preserve is potentially exculpatory, dismissal is mandated if the government acted in bad faith in destroying or failing to preserve the potentially exculpatory evidence. Seeing the evidence is crucial for the defense, as they said of one example the devices may have contained content as to whether these devices had any relevant internet search history, any evidence associated with the so-called dark web, and or the BitTorrent network, any metadata that might pinpoint the whereabouts of the devices at various dates and times, and the list goes on. The evidence could have been searched by people with expert skill in a properly controlled environment, just as Josh's devices were. The documents alleged, this court should not permit the investigative agents to speak out of both sides of their mouth, to say imaging and preserving digital evidence is not necessary when it comes to one set of devices, and to say imaging and preserving digital evidence is justified when it comes to another set of devices in the same investigation. Josh's legal team called this troubling and wrote the government concluded the three devices they searched did not further its case against Duggar and therefore deprived Duggar of the opportunity to access this potentially exculpatory evidence. Witness number one even admitted to using his device to access adult pornography via the internet, but the government failed to preserve the evidence of precisely how he accessed the pornography. 
Attorneys then slammed the government previously calling the case against Josh straightforward, as the case is not straightforward when the evidence is considered and the government knows it. They are asking to dismiss the case and at minimum have an evidentiary hearing to determine what can be determined based on the searches performed and to explore the possibility of alternative remedies. Fight over evidence. Josh's legal team has been demanding more access to evidence throughout the case. They filed a motion to see evidence related to an undated screenshot and all law enforcement reports and related discovery prepared by the Little Rock in July. Josh's first request was for information that appears under the summary and investigative activity tabs that are visible in the screenshot. In court papers previously obtained by The Sun, the judge found Josh failed to show that he is entitled to the information contained in the two tabs appearing in the screenshot. Josh then requested the production of the screenshot in native format and the disclosure of the date and time of capture and the name of the individual who captured it. Because native format is too vague to be understood by the court, the motion was denied as well. However, the request for the date, time and name of the person who captured the screenshot was granted. The screenshot was not provided to the court, but was indicated that three law enforcement officers downloaded child sexual abuse material from the same IP address at around the same time on the same date, May 14, 2019. Josh also requested logs from the Jonesboro and Ozark Police Departments, which was granted by the court. Josh's team argued that the logs can be used to determine the type of hardware a file was allegedly downloaded from and could show whether those downloads were successful, whether there's a pathway that's reflected in there, how long it took, whether there was a disconnect, and then a reconnect, and whether the other two officers were able to actually download the file in the first place. In Josh's initial request, he claimed his legal team repeatedly attempted to obtain this unambiguously discoverable evidence, but the government has refused to produce this evidence. Josh's team claimed he is legally and constitutionally entitled to the evidence, but the government has flat out refused to produce it. Case Details As The Sun reported, Josh pleaded not guilty to the two child pornography counts. Josh requested the court postpone his July trial date in or after February 2022. The trial has been reset to November 30th and has the potential to last until December 3rd. The former 19 Kids and Counting star is currently on home confinement until his trial and is living with third-party custodians LeCount and Maria Reber, who are longtime friends of Jim Bob and Michelle. Josh is residing in a massive mansion in Elkins, Arkansas with the Reber family. The Arkansas judge on the case ordered Josh to wear a GPS ankle monitor. Josh's wife Anna, who is pregnant with their seventh child and due in the fall, is standing by her husband and has visited him with their children. Josh has unlimited access to his children with Anna present. The family's reality show Counting On, which Josh has not appeared on, was cancelled in light of the scandal. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.